Google Sheets is a data tracking tool offered in Google Apps for Education. It's a wonderful device for teachers, students, and administrators if you're well versed in how to use it. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a few advanced functions that can be really helpful for teachers. One of the advanced functions of Google Sheets is that it allows you to do what they call conditional formatting. Essentially what that means is it just allows you to select if there is something in a cell, then you can set a rule for it to do something that corresponds. So let me show you. For instance, here we have just a little copy of a spreadsheet that I made really quick. And I want to show you how to do conditional formatting. So what you'll want to do is first highlight all the cells that you want to format conditionally. If you want to use this for the whole sheet, you can just highlight all the way down to the end of it. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to stop here at 136. And then I will click Format and then go to Conditional Formatting. So this column is the bus rider column. I want to give us a conditional format that says if they are a bus rider, it's green. And if they're not a bus rider, it'll show up red. So here's how you do it. This is our range here in the conditional formatting rules. We want to add a rule to it that says if the cell contains, if the text contains, and then here we'll put the value or formula. You can put letters or numbers. We'll put if the text contains yes, then the formatting style will be custom. We're going to make the fill color green. Okay, and then we'll just add another rule really quick. And for the same range here, apply to range, and the same um, rule, if the text contains, but we'll change the words to no, if the text contains the words no, we will make our color red. And then we'll just click done and exit that out. And you'll see now, every time we add a student into our list, and input whether or not they ride the bus, it will show up with the formatting. So this is a really easy way to set up your spreadsheets to just show you instantly without even having to read too much into it. You can just quickly look and see, okay, well, the kids that are green are bus riders. The kids that are red are not bus riders. The second advanced function that I want to show you in Google Sheets is how to add formulas. You might find at times that you need to add certain kinds of formulas like averages for averaging a student's grades or sum if you're counting up total points or anything along those lines. To insert a formula, you'll just want to first click the cell where you want the answer to the formula to show up. So we want our average to show up right here and then you'll click insert and you'll go down to function. Now there's a long list of all the different functions. Um, these are just some of the most commonly used ones. And if you need more different ones to choose from, you can select more. But I'm just going to do the average. And so now we'll need to give it a range. So I want to set our averages. Um, the range for those is going to be just the column of ages that we want it to average. So I'll just click with my mouse and drag all the way down through here and I'm gonna go further than what I have numbers for just because as we add kids into this the list will grow drag it all the way down to there and then just press enter and you'll see now that it shows up the average age of our students is 21.75 so then out here you could just type you know something like average age and there you have it the third advanced function I want to show you in Google Sheets is how to sort a list by alphabetical order. This can be extremely helpful for teachers, especially when they're doing their grades. Um, if they want to just quickly arrange their list of students in alphabetical order, here's how you do it. First, you need to select all of the cells that you want to alphabetize. So I'm just going to click and drag all the way down and all the way across. Now you want to make sure that you do this and select all of them because if you just do the names, 
it'll only alphabetize the names but it won't actually keep the names corresponding to their emails and their other information so you want to make sure that you select and highlight all of the data within the range and then you go up here to data and you set, tell it to sort range by column A to Z if you want to go alphabetical order A to Z. If you want to go Z to A you do it that but I, I like to go A to Z so we'll just click that and now you will see that all of our information changed including the age stayed with the person and the email stayed with the person and their preferences but now you see our names are in alphabetical order the last thing I want to show you as the advanced functions in Google Sheets is how to freeze the panes now a lot of times if you get a spreadsheet going you'll find that you'll have a list that goes down to you know 100 200 people however many you got and it can be very confusing to the eyes to try to keep up with what's in what column or what's in what row. So what I like to do is I'll just go up here to the column I want to freeze. So I want to freeze this whole row. I want to keep their names and emails and bus rider and age. I want to keep those settings at the top. I don't want those to move. So then I'll go up here to view and select freeze. And then I'm just going to tell it to freeze one row and you'll see it'll bring up this little gray line there and now as I scroll the data that I've input into the spreadsheet will scroll with me but the student name and email and columns will stand still so you could scroll all the way down or if you needed to you could scroll across um, by freezing a column so these are just some of the advanced functions I hope you find these helpful um, teaching and working in schools if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section. I'll do my best to get back to all of them. Thanks, and have a good day.